same data that we used for our pivot tables and we're going to use a function that I think is very, very helpful when it comes to taking information from two different pieces of data, so two different sheets of data. It's called XLOOKUP and I think that it's something that teachers can utilize a lot if they have, you know, math scores in one place, reading scores in another place, or unit one scores here, unit, scores, unit two scores here and you want to merge them together. It's very, very helpful. And so I want to walk you through how to do that. This is that book club form that I was looking at before. This is the first choice that every student picked for the spring of 2024. I want to make sure that does not match up with the book they read in the fall of 2023 because I don't want them to read the same book again. And so some kids will try to pick that. So I want to compare. So over here on this tab down or this sheet down here, I have the books that they read for sure in the fall of 2023. This was their final choice. So I'm going to come back to uh, my 2024 book and I want to add a column here so I can reference and pull that data over. So I'm going to insert a new column and then this is going to be the book they read, book club 2023 book. So this is where I want to pull in whatever student one read from 2023. And because I have their name, I can go reference that in the other column because the name is over there. Now, sometimes this doesn't work perfectly if you have students that don't spell their name correctly, use, you know, different spaces and things like that. So I always highly recommend you have students um, put in their student number because usually those don't get wrong and you can use that as your key to hook your data together. But for right now, I know that my student one is also student one on the other sheet. So I'm going to come right here and I'm going to use a function that Excel and Google Sheet allows me to use. They have it set up to work for me. So I'm going to do equals and then X look, look up and it's going to pop up. So X look up is what I want. It's going to ask me for three key pieces of information. It's going to want, ask me, you know, what information from this chart do I want to look at? What information from the other chart matches that? So what's the key that hooks them together? And then what do I want to get from that new spreadsheet? So once I match up my data, then I can say, okay, this is the column that I actually want the information from. So I'm going to click this X look up. And then my search key is going to be everything in column B because it's my student um, information. So I'm just going to click column B and then I'm going to do a comma to get my next piece of information. That's how functions work. They want your next piece of information is going to be separated by a comma. And so now it's asking me for my lookup range. So I'm going to go over here to my new or old um, information that's on this tab down here. And what I want to look up is the same matching information that's on this sheet. So that's this also the student data column from this sheet because those are going to match. Those are going to hook this information together. So I'm going to click this column and then I'm going to do comma again. And I'm still on that other sheet because that's the information I want to pull to my new sheet. And what I actually want is the final book that they picked from 2023. So this final book column. So I'm going to click on this one right here. And then I'm going to close the parenthesis. I'm done with my function. I have my three pieces of information. So I'm going to close the parenthesis and then hit return. And that pulls me back to where I was actually writing that function. So I can see that student one picked 96 miles for their book last time, or that's the book they read. And you can come and verify that right here because they're student one and they picked that book. Okay. And then we can pull this formula down. It's that smart. It can use the fill handle. We can pull it all the way down and it will pull in every student book that they read. So see, this kid's trying to be tricky, and they tried to select the book that they also read in the fall. So I would mark that and say, okay, no, we can't, can't let that happen. And so that is a way that we can pull information from two spreadsheets from one to another based on a key piece of information. So one part has to be the same on both the first sheet and the second sheet, and our key was our student number or our student name.